Hello guys, welcome back to another darts video and today we will be doing a tournament tier list maker. So as you can see in front of me we've got a tier list with all the tournaments, well, uh, all the proper tournaments throughout the year. We've got the World Series, we've got the European Championship, we've got the Ladbrokes UK Open, we've got the Champions League, we've got the World Grand Prix, we've got the just the Premier League, we've got the Players Championships, we've got the Grand Slam. World Darts Championship, the World Cup of Darts, and the Match Play. So, yeah, we're going to be going through the tiers. The bottom tier is the lowest you can go is D, so just the bottom. The low tier, we've got a mid tier, we've got a big tournament and a major tournament. So, I'm not going to be ranking them as like, oh yeah, World Championships, so I'm going to go major because it's a major. Because pretty much all of these are big majors, so I'm just going to see how I like them and how the tournament goes and such. So yeah, we're going to get straight into it now, we're going to start with the World Series. It's a good event, a lot, mm, it's a bit of a hard one to call to be honest, because not a lot of people talk about it, but it's a decent tournament, but it's not one of the ones that stand out to the most. So I feel like I've got to go in the low tier area, maybe mid, it's just a decent tournament, nothing really comes out of it a lot. So yeah, we now we've got the European Championships, a good tournament I think, it, something big always happens in the Euro, uh, European Championships, and yeah, it's just a good tournament, you get a lot of good moments out of there, so yeah, I think I'm going to go mid tier, this is probably going to be a really short video as well, because this tier list hasn't got all the big tournaments in it, so yeah, we've got the UK Open, do you know what, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the UK Open, because it starts on like a, what is it, a Wednesday, and there's about 10 people in that massive arena it's just there's no crowd pretty much there's no atmosphere it's a good tournament when it gets later on but I'm just not a massive fan of the UK Open so I've got to go I think I'm going to go low tier again I'm just not a big fan it's better than the World Series but it's just nothing much I just don't really like it that much alright now we've got the Champions League it's another tournament where not a lot of people talk about it it's just one of them ones where it's just like so what it's just a tournament oh yeah I'll watch it but it's not ones that stick out to you the most so yeah I've got to, I'm going to go low tier again it, these are not the best of tournaments the best tournaments are the ones that are later on in the line I've right, got the Grand Prix another I like it. it's a good tournament This it's a good one it's not a very high up but it's the ones that are quite good. I think this is one where it's double and double out, isn't it? Where you start on the double the Grand Prix. So, yeah, it's a bit of a different one. I kind of like it because it's not the same stuff over and over again. So, I'm going to go in the. I'm going to go mid tier, but better than the European Championships. Alright, this one's a tough one now. The Premier League. It's so tough, this, because the format is so bad. They need to bring back that old format. It's so repetitive each year. I think they've got to add. They've got to bring more people in, make it a 14 people tournament. It's probably really. The players get really tired doing this tournament as well. They've got to play. You've got to think about it. Let's say Luke Littler, for example. Thursday, okay, he's got the Premier League. He's going to be flying to Dublin, Munich. He could be still in the UK. And then on Saturday, he's got them players championships. Or he might have a Euro, or he might be even a major. It'll be so. It's just too repetitive each week. It's just like it doesn't matter who the fixtures are. It's just the same stuff every week. So they've got to change that format up. I do enjoy the Premier League. It's been good in the past. So I've got to go a big tournament. It is a good one. All the best players come together, but they've got to change it up. Right now we've got the Players Championship. It's, again, it's just a tournament. It's just there, isn't it? It's just one of them tournaments where it builds up all the way through the year and then the finals comes at the end it's just one of them where it's just the nothing big nothing bad it's just a good tournament so I'm gonna go in the mid tier but last right now the Grand Slam one of my personal favorites the Grand Slam there's always it's always a banger of a tournament so I've got to go big is it better than the Premier League yeah I enjoyed the big the Grand Slam better it's just oh, it's just so good I love the Grand Slam so much Right now we've got the world match play. This I love it so much. The match play, it's just the I think I think the atmosphere at the match play is better than the world championships. A lot of darts players say that as well. 
it's just a big tournament just is it just after is it after the world championships or just before it i don't know aspinall won it last it's such a good tournament the match play i'm gonna go up there me it's either just at the end of big is it big or is it a good is it my favorite I'm gonna go big. I'm gonna go with the top one. The match play is banging. Right, the world's dark championship is the big one. What is it? A hundred, hundred twenty something players coming to it. There's only one winner at the end. Luke Humphrey's got it last year. It's Michael Smith the year before. It's just always good. You get you get in in December from a cold, cold day of work, and then you come back to the world dark championships. It's on all day. It's just a massive tournament. There's a little break in between Christmas, the one before, then it comes back after it into January. It's the best tournament there is. So you've got to go in the top. The atmosphere's class. The players, they all turn up in the World Darts Championships. So it's got to go in the top for me. Do you know what? The World Cup of Darts, hands down, is... I know I just said that's my one of my favourites, the Darts Championships. I, I think the World Cup of Darts is my favourite tournament in the whole, the whole tournament. The doubles format, they, they brought it back this year. The the doubles where they both fall on at the same stage. There's just so much that happens. It's just like it's like the football where they pick their England squad. There's always all the players always want to be in the World Cup of Darts. You've seen it. The last year where Dimitri Vandenberg and Kim Ibrex were just beefing on stage the whole time. It's just it's so good. They had a lot. It's just there's so many good moments in the World Cup of Darts. It just happens every every, every year, and it's the one I look forward to the most. It just brings something different to it every time. You know, to, there's four people on at stage. It's just the best, and you you're playing for your own country. It's just like the World Cup when it's in football. It just everyone always looks forward to it. All right, so that is my end of my tier list there. So as you can see in the low tiers, I've got the Champions League, the World Series darts. UK Open. I think I've been a bit harsh in the World Series or the the UK Open. It's just it's just a bit boring at the start. I like on it so it's good the whole way through. Uh, and then we got the play championship finals and the Europeans and the World Grand Prix. I think I could be harsh on the Grand Prix. That could go up a bit, but the other two just all right. The Premier League and the Grand Slam they're just two big tournaments, but sometimes get a bit repetitive with the Premier League and the Grand Slam. It's always it's always a good tournament, but not not it's not deserved to be in the top one. And so in third place, we've got the World Match Play, one of the best tournaments there is. Then we've got the World Match Championships. So well, I think a lot of you will be shocked by that, the fact that I've not put that in the number one. And then we've got the World Cup of Darts in at the number one. So there it is then, Taylor's done. Please like and subscribe. Please leave in the comments what you'd like me to do next. If it's going to be a reaction dart video, this channel is just going to be more about darts now. Uh, I've I've posted games and stuff. I've done it, but darts seems to get the most attention. So I'm going to be start just using darts content on this one. I'm thinking about doing another channel for the game and stuff. So yeah, please like, subscribe, comment what you want me to do next. If it's a reaction video or it's going to be another tier list or a darts review. So yeah, goodbye.